Hey everybody, it's Quick Tip Tuesday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how do we wanna get a perfect skate fit. So to start, you're gonna grab your skate. The first thing that you've gotta do is you've gotta loosen up your skates as much as you possibly can. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to, to work your finger down the front, loosen, 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 and then go grab each one individually and keep on loosening. As you keep working down one by one down the front of your skate, you're gonna end up getting to a point where you can get all of your skates nice and super loose and that's gonna open it up enough so that you can get your foot inside, all right? Once you have your skate nice and loose, you're gonna work your foot all the way up until you can barely touch the tip of your skate, the toe of your skate with your actual toe. So once you've got your toe barely touching the front, if you bend your knee forward, you can check how much space that you have underneath. So if you have enough space to fit one finger behind, you know, that's acceptable. Ultimately, if you can have as little space as possible, that's ideal. You want to be able to have your toe as close to the front as you can for a perfect fit. But if you want some grow room, if you're younger and you need some room to grow, you want to be able to have like a finger's distance in there. I can't put behind because I'm done growing, so I, I want as close a fit as I can. But if you can fit one finger behind, that's good. If you get a little bit of wiggle room, okay. If you can fit two fingers behind your heel, then that's way too big of a fit. We want to go down a size or a half size so that you can only fit one finger behind and that's how you're gonna find a good fit for your skate. So now that you know how big your skate is, you're gonna kick your heel back to try to lock it into the pocket as best you can. Once you've got your heel kicked back, then you can start lacing your skate. So make sure you kick your heel back and then start um, at the bottom and down low, you can just get a nice snug fit. It doesn't have to be super tight. Um, just nice and comfortable down low. Once you start to get anywhere where there's uh, your ankle bends right in here, that's where you want to make sure you're locking down nice and, and tight. So um, this is where you want to grab. And what I like to do is I like to push against with my leg. So I'll hold nice and tight and then I'll push against with my leg to get a nice tight fit here. And then walk up to the next one. Same thing, crank it in nice and tight so you get a nice tight fit as we go up through this ankle portion here where your ankle bend portion is. Once you get through the ankle bend portion, so just like we're doing now, once you've gotten those laces cranked nice and tight, the last couple uh, laces up here, this is kind of up for your interpretation. Some people like to have them a little bit tighter. Um, some people like to have them a little bit looser. I like it kind of in a, in a mid-range. What, what you want to have is you want to be able to bend your knee so that you get a nice flexion like over, over your toe. So you want to be able to have good knee bend. If you're so tight that you cannot bend your knee forward, that is too tight around your ankle. So you want to loosen that up just a little bit so that you can get full flexion into your, uh, over your skate. So that's how we want to make sure that you're getting your top laces. You want to be able to get it as tight as you can so that you still get that nice deep knee bend. After that, what we're going to do is just do our lace lacing up and the, uh, the just a quick tip today is make sure you don't leave your laces like this. You don't want to be stepping on a lace and flopping to the side. So make sure that you, uh, if you have extra lace, you can do your double bunnies, however you want to be able to do it to get your laces so that they're not going to end up going underneath your skate. But that's our quick tip Tuesday. That's our, our tip for today. Um, and I'll see you next time. More to come.